In tonight with four people behind bars accused of breaking into an ATM and stealing tens of thousands of dollars. Thanks for joining us. I'm Mike Landis. And I'm Lauren Barnes. Fox 49 Shadia Tomlin is live from that bank in Branson where all of that took place. Shadia. That's right, Mike Lauren. You can see right here on this ATM, it says out of service now where the damages that this burglary caused has made it be out of service. The chief of Branson police say that they're just happy that they were able to be quick in this investigation. To have a crime like this wrapped up in people in custody within 10 hours of, of the crime happening was just outstanding and so proud of everybody involved. The Branson Police Department are celebrating a successful investigation following an ATM burglary that happened early Friday morning at a Branson bank branch. Our officers responded out there and pretty quickly found that Obviously, something was amiss, and uh, they found a uh, basically an ATM that had been pulled apart. The four suspects were seen on the bank surveillance camera using a pickup truck to tear the front of the ATM off, then taking about $36,000, but causing $60,000 in damages. Branson officers say that they worked with other departments to track down the four suspects in Montgomery County, Texas. We called in our investigations unit, our detective, and he pretty quickly remembered that he had received some information that there was crews coming up from Texas to do exactly this. They got right on it and they were able to tell us exactly where the car was. We were able to get a hold of the local agencies on that route and they were able to stop them and uh, get them stopped and arrested with uh, evidence uh, from our crime. The police chief says that this wasn't the first ATM the suspects had broken into. Two of the occupants in the vehicle also had outstanding warrants for their arrest from other jurisdictions, one of which was a similar crime out of the Chicago area. Corey Cross, the Branson Bank vice president, says in a statement to Fox 49 and Color 10 that the Branson Police Department was swift and that the community is extremely fortunate to be served by the men and women of the Branson Police Department. What we're doing now is one of the best steps. It is it's our ability to be proactive and to put out there, hey, if you think you're going to come to Branson and commit crimes like this, you're not going to get away with it. As of today, the four are being held in Montgomery County Jail. Reporting live in Branson, I'm Shadiah Tomlin, Ozarks First.